Hello, I'm Dr. Randy Morris, the Medical Director at IVF1, and this is Infertility TV. There are many different medication protocols for IVF. Today, we are going to discuss the highly successful protocol developed at IVF1. The first medication used contains the hormone FSH. FSH is needed to initiate the maturation of the eggs in the ovaries. We commonly use a product called Tholestin. After several days of FSH, a second type of medication is added to prevent premature ovulation. These are called GnRH antagonists. The most common brands are Ganarelix and Cetratide. Once the follicles have grown larger upon ultrasound examination, the dose of FSH is reduced and a third medication is added called HCG. This part is important change because as the follicles grow larger, they lose the ability to respond to FSH, so the medication must be adjusted to maintain follicle growth. Once the eggs are ready for removal, usually after 11 to 12 days of medication, the final step is the trigger injections. The type of trigger medications used will differ depending on whether the patient is going to transfer the embryos right away or freeze them for later use. To learn more, subscribe to Infertility TV now or visit our website at IVF1.com.